Well, hello and welcome to all of our viewers here today. I'm Fiona Lang Sharp, IBCLC Director of Communications and MC here at Gold Learning. Well, we're talking today about our upcoming Gold Lactation Conference, and we are back this year for our 15th year, which is very exciting, of course. We're now in over 90 countries with over 4,000 delegates attending. And of course, we hope that you will come and join us for this year's conference as well. It does begin on March 29th. That will be our first live presentation. However, you'll be able to come back and listen to the recordings at your convenience as well. Well, it is my honor and pr privilege to sit down with one of my favorite people here today. We've got Dr. Amal Omer Salim, who is here with us today. Thank you so much for joining us, Amal. Thank you very much. <laughs> And I, I mean, I have such fond memories, um, not only in our, our sort of, we've been working together the last few weeks getting ready for this presentation, but of course, anytime you and I are together, we've just got so much to talk about. Um, and it's That's always true. exciting to, to catch up with you and hear what is happening. And of course, you have, um, you're currently uh, in Sweden, I believe, but uh, are well-traveled, but I would love it if you could uh, talk and share a little bit about yourself and uh, where you are now and what you've been doing this last couple of years. Thank you, Fiona. Yeah, so I'm, um, I'm a nutritionist and um, focusing on breastfeeding, of course, and that's why we're here. Um, I'm in Sweden currently in Uppsala, which is uh, not the capital, but it's the one of the academic capitals of Sweden. Uh, Uppsala University is uh, dates back to 1477. Mm -hmm. um, I did my PhD here in 2015 and I did uh, work uh, studies on um, breastfeeding and uh, work uh, in Tanzania and India. Uh, very exciting and two very different contexts um, but many similarities. I think women all over the world have uh, face similar challenges. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm, um, if I'm not here in Sweden, I'm in Penang in Malaysia, where, which is the uh, headquarters of WABA, the World Alliance for Breastfeeding Action. And uh, I'm the executive director and work with a fantastic team of um, people who are committed also and totally dedicated to breastfeeding and um, as you know, we work with the World Breastfeeding Week. That's our flagship program. Mm -hmm. uh, we are actually just now also in the middle of um, drafting the uh, World Breastfeeding Week action folder. Uh, and it's going to go out to a review team around the world. Exciting. Yep. So there's lots going on. Uh -huh. I'm also working with the breastfeeding support, uh, warm chain of support in Stockholm region. Right. So got lift, lots of different <laughs> jobs, <laughs> but they're all connected that they're to do with breastfeeding. That's right. Say. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's what's so amazing about you, Amal. You are very well connected. And I know that um, working through um, the World Alliance for Breastfeeding Action, um, you know, you're very passionate about what, what you do there. So for those who are listening in and perhaps new to this world or haven't really, don't really know what WABA does um, other than, you know, maybe the flagship, flagship program, but perhaps they didn't even know the whole connection. I mean, we've become so sort of reliant on you producing that program and we all can't wait to hear what it's going to be about and I know you just released it recently as well um, the logo is available right now so um, and you should all have that should all have that and be aware of it of course but uh, tell me when did you first join WABA and you know what has transpired over the years since you've been with them Yes, uh, that's not an easy question to answer because I joined uh, WABA in, I think the first time I got in touch with WABA was in 1995 when I went wow. for a study visit uh, to Penang to mm -hmm. look at, uh, I was working with SIDA, the Swedish Development Agency, mm -hmm. and we were um, 
sent off there to look at some of the uh, to do a kind of recognizance mission to see if the if Waba would be um, a candidate for CEDA support. Right. Uh, so I came there and uh, was kind of quite new to the game, but found it really fascinating. Uh, not only the environment of being in Penang, of course, mm -hmm. but also the the wide range of issues that Waba was engaged in. And as you know, WABA is a network. It's a global mm -hmm. network of individuals and organizations, um, all working towards protection, promotion, and support of breastfeeding. Um, it was formed in 1991 and um, on the basis of the Innocenti targets, the four targets. So mm -hmm. we worked with, um, of course, the Baby Friendly Hospital Initiative and uh, the maternity uh, protection issues. Uh, women and work has been kind of like a main theme in right. the um, in Waba's um, uh, panorama box and uh, mm -hmm. I think that's um, some of the issues in terms of lifting advocate the uh, advocating for some of the neglected issues like mm -hmm. uh, women's rights uh, both in the formal and the informal sector mm -hmm. um, what also um, drew me to WABA and as I continued uh, to work as a senior technical advisor to WABA, mm -hmm. uh, looking at connecting uh, the dots, you know, sort of bringing people together in various ways and platforms, but also connecting the issues. So mm -hmm. since I kind of took a more of a leadership, senior leadership role in mm -hmm. uh, 20. Um, 16, 15, 16, after I'd finished my PhD. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, we started to look at the connecting the dots, looking at the sustainable development goals, mm. for example. Um, and quite a lot of advocacy to, to bring on board um, diverse um, um, agendas and also diverse um, organizations, people. Right. Uh, because we've always believed this, that, you know, you have to have more people, more hands on deck. Uh, not only talking to ourselves as breastfeeding advocates, but also beyond. <laughs> so that's, I think, one of the things that I think I've helped to, I've contributed to is to sort of widen the scope, although WABA always had that in mind. Sure. Yeah. No, and I think that, mm. I mean, uh, partly I think we're going to hear you talk about that, you know, who who we should be involving and who should be engaged um, and how to do that well, you know, um, with folks in the community. Um, and I know that uh, your topic title for uh, when you join us here at Gold Lactation will be Global Perspectives on the Warm Chain of Support for Breastfeeding. Now, warm chain is something that um, maybe not everybody is familiar with, you know, in terms of what we look at, but um, you have provided on, well, Waba and yourself have provided these um, fabulous tools, I have to say, um, on the Waba website in regards to um, warm chain and what it looks like. In a little synopsis, can you tell us what that is, um, you know, and, and what, you know, what we can look forward to learning from you um, at the, the conference, Simo? Yeah, so the warm chain is just like the cold chain for vaccines. You know, you have to have a cold chain and it has to be connected. It has to be timely and everything has to flow uh, smoothly. And uh, we think that that is what the warm chain is of support for breastfeeding is too. It's, it's a warm chain because it's about relationships. Mm. It's about um, having support. And all these are kind of the warm issues, you mm -hmm. know, the soft, eh, maybe you can call them soft issues, but it's warm and it's tangible. And we know that support, the evidence is there that we need to have support through the continuum of care. Mm -hmm. So that is basically about what the warm chain is about, is that making sure that women, all people who breastfeed, have that support from the time of their pregnancy till the child is at least two years old, if not longer. Right. Breastfeeding continues. Yeah. And so we have those, um, all the people, the actors, the people who are in touch with the, with the breastfeeding person or parent have to be informed and know what their role is. Right. So that's what our warm chain postcards that you were talking about earlier. Yeah. Um, they, they give you the, the, the main the five to 10 main things that you can do uh, in whatever role you are, if you're a physician mm -hmm. or if you're a community or if you are uh, even a trade unionist. Mm. 
Yeah, that's amazing. I mean, when I when I started looking at these cards, I just thought how, you know, pertinent they are. And I think that just sometimes having that information on a card and providing it to somebody, um, you know, it, is going to be so important um, to understand the connection. And I think um, perhaps, you know, I always think about the disconnect that we have, you mm -hmm. know, in breastfeeding amongst ourselves, amongst other professionals. And I, I see the warm chain providing that continuum, like you said, that continuum you move mm. care so that we're all on the same page so that we're all working towards the goals and understanding you know what the barriers are what are some of the things that some of the needs of those that are involved um and i and i looked at mine today i have to tell you as a lactation professional i was like i better know what mine is but you know <laughs> yes it, but it and, and sometimes you'll read i i mean i read some of the things i well yeah that's good that i can do that and that's part of what my role is but i think it goes beyond that i think you mm. know the responsibility is is not just looking at myself but you know making sure that I can provide I come in contact with people all the time you know mm. that I could be saying listen this is how this is how it works when it comes to you know breastfeeding and um, you know this is one of our sustainable goals right and mm. we're going to be you're going to be touching on those as well which is very yes cool. for yeah. sure definitely no yeah. I think it's a, like you said it's a conversation piece also it's a way yeah. it's an entry point uh, not everything may res resonate at that point in time, but uh, at least you can have those conversations and totally. um, with with whoever. And and I think that main thing, the main point is that we all have to work together. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I, this is just sort of the starter conversation. I feel like you and I, we, we could continue, <laughs> but I know today we just have yes. a few minutes to talk about it, but if there's anything that you could, that, you know, we can give away at this conversation is definitely, of course, this is going to be a fabulous presentation at our gold lactation conference and, you know, um, and what we're, you know, what Amal is going to be talking about as well, of course, the, the warm chain and, and how we all fit into that as part of the community no matter what our jobs are and um and how as professionals we have a responsibility um to carry that message and you have really provided those tools at waba so i'm i'm very excited that you're going to get into a deep dive of you know what that might look like um and maybe some people will be surprised because they some people always say they're not in advocacy amal but then they don't realize some of the things that they're actually doing already in their community right yes. so yeah, I think that's going to be fabulous. Well, thank you so much. It's been great having you here and chatting yes. with you just for a few minutes here. And I know that you're looking forward to uh, coming to our conference this year. And of course, you will Absolutely. be- Absolutely. Yeah, you're going to be live. So um, an opportunity is here that you'll be able to come um, and sit down and talk with Amal, you know, after the presentation. And uh, your presentation is titled Global Perspectives on the Warm Chain of Support for Breastfeeding. But Amal will be here, of course, for a live Q&A. So we hope that uh, you'll have time to come and join us. We want you to go to the website right now to goldlactation.com. You can check out the dates and times um, that Amal is going to be with us here live. And of course, if you can't make it on the day, do not worry. Um, for all of our delegates, we have the exclusive forums that you'll be able to connect with and of course you'll be able to listen to the recording at your convenience as well well thank you so much amal for joining me here today it's been lovely having you you're welcome i look forward to this yeah absolutely and i as i do too and i know all of you will um one last thing you know if you've got any comments or questions right now for amal or about waba you can pop them in the link below and we'll look forward to connecting with you all very soon online i hope you have a wonderful day bye-bye for now everyone bye